Let's discuss. Rachel back again with another reaction video and I am stoked for today's video make them suffer has put out a new single it features Courtney LaPlante of spirit box that is a great combination last year make them suffer dropped how to survive a funeral it was as right as I got my channel is when that dropped and the vinyl came a few weeks before the album dropped on streaming platforms and such so I didn't do any reaction videos for them I haven't done any but I love make them suffer they are an awesome band a great discography and Courtney LaPlante is awesome. She and Spirit Box are fixing to release a new album very soon in September of this year so a lot of exciting stuff here. I am stoked to check out this new single Contraband so I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Make Them Suffer, Contraband, featuring Courtney LaPlante. Let's discuss. Directly on repeat is where this one will go. I really like this one for a number of reasons. It kind of has a more of a worlds apart type of sound. I really enjoyed How to Survive a Funeral. It's an excellent record. The ballad track, uh, The Attendant, was a really nice touch to that album. Erase Me was one of the the best singles from last year, in my opinion. Uh, I really enjoy that album, but the energy and the sound and like the riffs and stuff more of this sort of sound and i really enjoy that but also this is kind of a still a you know it doesn't sound like it could fit right onto worlds apart if that makes sense so the courtney feature was excellent i loved it uh well let me first so the first lead into the chorus so i think it was about a minute into the song it's the first time you get the chorus uh you've got that energetic riff going right before it and then it kind of goes um like like a drop into the chorus which i really enjoy book of his vocals are incredible as usual the piano in this song is excellent i love all of that but also just like the energy that this track brings is kind of more of a the energy that we heard on worlds apart if that makes sense i'm really glad that we got how to survive a funeral though because some of those tracks took like a more melodic approach have a more you know a more sad sound to them and i enjoyed that as well as the the more energetic stuff so the chorus was really beautiful i enjoyed the uncleans that were in the chorus it sounded really good the pad like the vocal pattern on there sean's vocals overall on this track sounded awesome as well the ending i will eventually talk about but that last breakdown was excellent so the chorus really catchy really awesome No complaints from me here. Courtney's feature. It was a nice length for a feature. I really enjoyed that. I wasn't sure. So I think I say this on pretty much every Courtney feature that we cover, but it's nice because with Courtney, you're you're unsure. Are we going to get her clean vocals? Are we going to get the uncleans? And I wasn't sure with having, you know, Buka's vocals on here will, you know, where will Courtney's fit in here? But I think that her part fit perfectly into the song. Yeah, and just the ending of that song entirely. So the the beginning of the song, excellent. I was mostly focused on the riffs, the guitar, having that energy. Um, And the drums on this have exactly what I'm looking for from Make Them Suffer. And I thought that was the case on How to Survive a Funeral, too. Uh, So with how to survive you know they have that punchy sound i think when it comes to like the the kick drum and stuff just a very specific sound of drumming and i really enjoy it and that was something that stuck out to me a lot on how to survive a funeral that punchiness and the drumming it's it's all over their discography too you could hear it on this track so i was glad to hear that as well but yeah courtney features super solid in there and then going into that last breakdown the outro of the song really that the vocals from sean were just very brutal yeah absolutely wasn't really absolutely wasn't really absolutely was not expecting it to to drop that heavily at the end of the track i guess i would have expected more in like the middle or something but that was a nice surprise at the end of the track there sean's vocals were were incredible in that part too as well as the instrumentals being extremely heavy and fun so uh no complaints from me here this is exactly what i would be hoping to see next in make them suffer's discography hopefully we'll see some more from them maybe they just put out a whole album last year though so i was just glad to to get this single so contraband featuring courtney LaPlante. i will link the original video and stuff the band merch all of that in the description of this video also there will be the link tree link in the description let me know what you thought of this song in the comments i don't think i said that in the description of this video you can find the link tree link which has the invite link for the discord server that I talk about all of the time. The Discord server is full of a bunch of really awesome people. Some of my favorite people are in there. We talk about music-related stuff, unrelated to music stuff, a whole different array of things. So if that interests you at all, that will be there along with my Instagram profile link. On Instagram, I post charts for what I listen to the most each week. I post my vinyl collection, other various music-related things sometimes about YouTube, stuff like that. So if that interests you at all, my handle is Rachel Reacts, just like my YouTube channel, but I will put it up here on the screen for you as well as having it in that link tree in the description. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.